Well, good morning, adventurers. <laughs> that is right. Today we are completing a huge project, the final one to make Clementine officially road ready. The shower! Now get out of here. This show ain't free. <laughs> That's right guys, we're back in the garage because sadly, even though we went on a trip in our last video, this RV is not done. <laughs> All good um, things must come to an end. <laughs> yes. If you caught that video, we did take our first trip. We went to a campsite and mainly our goal there was just to kind of try everything out, see how everything felt. And mostly it was a wild success. However, you'll notice we did not take a shower and that's because the shower was far from done. However, our goal today is to finish for the most part this friggin' shower. So next time we take it out, we're showering in this thing, dang it. Yes, so this blue stuff is not artsy or <laughs> paint or anything like that. No. Well, we went through a bunch of different ideas of how to kind of seal these edges and uh, we were gonna use clear sealant, but we don't think that's gonna look very good. We were gonna use trim, but then that's just a whole heap of work and probably not a great idea. So we're using this brown sealant right here. The key though is to make a very, very straight line so it looks hopefully very professional and Tape to the rescue for that because we cannot make a straight line with this thing to save our lives. So here's our strategy. We got a caulk that's got kind of some brown tint to it. Ideally, we just want it to kind of mostly match the wood. Most importantly, it's weatherproof. It's mold free. It stretches up to 800%, all right? So this should be the stuff for the job. Now I just gotta do it. I'm kind of nervous to do it because if it looks like crap, we're kind of stuck with it. <laughs> now we can always put trim up, right? Yeah, I guess, but I don't want to have to do that. No, me Hopefully either. this ends up being a good idea. <laughs> Report back at the end of this video. All right, wish me luck, y'all. The time has come. I've delayed long enough. <laughs> definitely making some key errors. <laughs> Number one, this stuff skins over very quickly. So I tried to do a bunch at first and then take the tape off, but it started pulling the sealant off with it. <laughs> so you got to do a little bits at a time and then take the tape off. That's the key. Now that we're like 75% done, we know that. <laughs> yeah. And we've messed up a bunch of our lines. Yeah. I think we're getting the hang of this. We got a pretty clean line down here on the shower pan, which is Arguably the most important spot because it's very obvious if you make a mistake. Not too bad. Yeah. I think that'll do. This is a very, very messy job. <laughs> yeah. Uh, zero out of oh. 10, do not recommend doing this. <laughs> no, not fun. <laughs> well, now that the shower is finally sealed, we get to put some pretty stuff in here. I made some custom trim to go around the outside of our shower. We made it kind of dark, kind of to match the rest of the RV because we had these nice dark beams going through our ceiling and in some other spots. <laughs> That's fine. I meant to do that. Yeah, oh, it went shoot. right into the corner there. Yeah. It did. Well, I messed up. I dropped that and it went right into the sealant. Whoops. Oh, man. Dang. So I know that you guys are probably not that impressed. They're like, great, just put the freaking trim on. But I just have to complain for a little bit because y'all, this was very complicated to do. I had to notch out the countertop here and then I had to notch out the shower down there, which the pan is very strange. Plus all of these sizes are different. So I had to, you know, cut this at one size, cut this down there at another size. It took me a long time to get it right. And you did a great job because it did. fits like a glove. <laughs> but it's been done for days and I've been wanting to install it and just see all my handiwork come together. And now I'm finally going to do it. Just like that, the shower is almost done. Obviously we gotta put the faucet back on and there's a little more trim we gotta do around the bottom of the bathroom, but we are so close, so done close. I feel like for us it's always like, and just like that, it's almost done. It's almost done. And then <laughs> six months later, maybe it's really almost done and then it's done. But it looks really nice. I mean, we had to do some pretty complicated corners here and stuff, or Allison did that <laughs> and yeah. shaping around the shower pan down there. I had to redo this like three different times. Although I'm impressed that it only took me three times. Mm -hmm. Glad to be done. Y'all, if I never have to say the word trim again, <laughs> it'll be too soon. Check it, you guys. We 
made some custom gold trim for our little kitchen fridge cabinet. Our intention was to never have to trim this out. We actually thought this was gonna be a standalone piece and it was so beautiful. But as you can see here, we made some mistakes. Yeah, we made the countertop way too short, but we had already finished it all off and we weren't about to recut it and redo it. So yeah, we tried our know. best to make it work and it, we just could not get it. So this is our fix. We're gonna put these really pretty gold trim pieces here that match our uh, windows. So that's gonna cover up all of our mistakes and make it beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So these two pieces go on the end like so and make mm -hmm. these nice little gold end caps. And then we just have a piece of pine that goes here. This is actually the same as the trim that we have all throughout the kitchen. I don't know, I think it looks kind of cool. It looks like a really custom piece. Maybe it's a little awkward. I don't know, you guys tell us, but this oh, is what I'm we're sure gonna have you to will. do. And we really like the gold, you guys. I think I've decided gold might be my favorite color. Is that weird? <laughs> <laughs> I'm fancy. I love gold. <laughs> All right, success so far. We love these clamps. They're from uh, Irwin and they are so freaking versatile. You can literally flip them around and push out like this. You can almost always find a way to clamp pretty much anything. We've got more finishing touches, you guys. We have this nice, beautiful piece of oak trim that we stained and polyed. And look how well it matches the floor. We've been puzzling over how to do this transition part for a long time because I actually have a conduit of wires that runs through here. And I didn't want that to be super obvious, but we basically just built up some wood here for this to fasten into, and then the wires kind of fit snugly underneath that. So I think it's gonna work. Mostly it looks a lot more finished than it did previously. What do you got cooking over here? Oh, y'all, this is a project that I'm like one of the most, a project I'm really excited about. One of the most exciting projects. <laughs> These are the original faux leather pieces that were in the front cab. I guess they just kept you from bonking your head on stuff and covered up some unsightly places, but we've had these out for a year and a half and we, I didn't think they were gonna fit back in. And we fit them today and they do, but they've been sitting in the corner of the garage for a year and a half and they are nasty. We did have to modify it a bit. We needed more of a notch out here, so mm -hmm. we just, Took the old staples out, cut this back, and put some new ones in. Yeah. So that was super easy. Yeah, but they're so fun. And I'm so glad that we have something from the original RV back in there. We've been staring at this nasty exposed wood for a long, long time. But the time has come, finally, to cover this monstrosity up. No longer. So this basically fits in here, just like so. It covers all this nasty stuff up. Yeah. Perfect. These are the final pieces of the puzzle. These are actually left over from this old overhead cab. These pieces used to sit here and here, but we are going to repurpose them. So previously there was a big cutout here. So there was nothing in this area. You kind of filled it with a little piece of a bed, but now you can see we have a big hunk of wood here that needs to be covered up. So our plan was to put these right here. Yeah. Like squanch them in there. Unfortunately, these were a little bit too long, so we had to modify these. This is our first time doing any form of upholstery, but it was surprisingly easy. All we had to do was take the staples out, then we peeled some of this leather back, then we cut the wood down to the size we needed to, bent it back over, and restapled it. And we accidentally misplaced the original hardware, so we made these little fancy gold yeah. little washers and uh, screws that we painted our signature gold. <laughs> They're gonna look pretty good, I think. Time to install. Boy, is it gonna be awesome, because I'm so ready to cover all this nasty crap up. <laughs> Whoa, shit. Whoopsie. That's all right, it's fine. Y'all, our shower is done. It is watertight and ready to be showered in. <laughs> Well said. <laughs> yeah, so we sealed everything in there and we even reinstalled our shower head. But now we have to test that to make sure that we reinstalled it correctly and it's not going to leak on us. <laughs> so we came over to my parents' house to use the hose. We can fill up all of our tanks and do that. And it's going to go just as well as the bathroom sink did. No leaks, right? Who's ready for the first shower ever in Old Clementine? <laughs> huh? You are. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always so nervous that something's gonna go wrong. <laughs> 
Theoretically, before we put this fixture on, we tested all this plumbing back here and water was flowing with no leaks or anything like that. So the real potential issue is just this joint here, but I sealed that up pretty good. And the worst thing can happen is it's just gonna leak a little here. So, you know, it can't be that bad. Right? Yeah. That's so the valves good. are officially open. So we have water flowing to here. I don't know which one of these is on. This is like a dual purpose shower head thing. Just called, let's try it. Ah! Why is this so scary? Oh shoot! Did it come out right there? The water came out down here. That's yeah. not ideal. That's <laughs> what not is good. this? This is like the thing itself is messed up. It kind of works. <laughs> There's a leak right here though. That kind of oh, sucks. No. What's that about? We've never actually used this shower head, so my assessment is that it's broken. Because <laughs> it's leaking right down here, and this oh, is just like the no. seal internally in the shower head. But water's flowing. Check that out. Theoretically, you could take a shower in here though. You just have a little leak down there, which kind of sucks, but hey, it works! It works! <laughs> well, we got the rain shower kind of working. I think it's losing too much pressure down here, so it's not wanting to come out of there. Okay, so the rain shower might not really work too well. It's happening. We're putting up the curtain. <laughs> Sadly, um, our actual curtain rod that we want is not in yet, so we're just borrowing this one for a second. But this is our final shower curtain. It is! I'm so excited! Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool. This was like one of the first things I purchased I was looking around on West Elm site and I came across this beauty and they had it in a wooden shower and I was like, it's perfect. And it is, it's so perfect. You know what that means? Oh, it's shower time, baby. Whoa. Cue the shower time sexy music. My feet get cold but now i get to warm up in our brand new hot shower that was her big idea to do a bunch of socks in that scene eric really disliked it but you'll have to let me know did you think it was funny because i thought it was hilarious <laughs> all right the moment of truth a human being is going to shower in here it feels so wrong i feel like i shouldn't be in here doing this we still don't have our towel rack up either so <laughs> let's get this over here ah! <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like i'm in a a sauna or a ski lodge or something. <laughs> this is so wild! Look, mom showering in my own shower that I built! Nice job. Almost forgot. Gotta have the exhaust fan on. That's the key. Oops, I did it again to your heart. Got lost in this game of babies. All right, you're done. <laughs> Huge success! Shower works! Yeah! First shower! It worked! We've done a first everything in here, I think, yeah. and it all works. So, we don't want to give away too much, but the holidays are coming, and y'all know we love some Christmas markets, and those have not been running the past couple years. So, I think we're gonna have to head to Europe and see those. But, before we do that, obviously we gotta take some trips in old Clementine now that she's ready for the route. So, that's kind of our next plan just to do some trips around the area. We have some really interesting stays we're wanting to do. Then we'll pop over to Europe, stay tuned to figure out where we're gonna go. And then we'll be back and living in Clementine on the road indefinitely. Yeah, I think, you know, we're gonna stop and do little projects here and there because there are some final touches we wanna do. We really wanna customize where all the plates go, all the silverware, all the little accoutrements. We want like a set spot so that we're not like battening everything down every time we hit the road. Yeah. That stuff's gonna take a long time. So it's it gonna will. be an ongoing thing. It'll be fun to kind of put it all together yeah. while well, traveling. We're sick of staying put and working in a garage, so we might all do that on the road while we're traveling. Cause she's ready now. Oh my God, she's officially ready. I ah, can't believe it. Ah, I can't ah, believe it. Freaking out. Goodbye adventures. We'll see you on the road.